Barcelona, we head more than a thousand kilometers west to Porto. Portugal's second biggest city is currently the site of clinical tests that could prove very important for women's health. Here at the Portuguese Institute of Oncology, new technology is making advances in the fight against breast cancer. A Portuguese consortium has helped develop a machine called PEM, or Positron Emission Mammography. It can detect tumours far earlier than standard imaging techniques. Well, the advantage is uh, resolution, because it's uh, able to detect small uh, tumours, much smaller than the old body PET. We are talking about uh, one to two millimeter tumours. Uh, the sensibility is higher and also the costs will be reduced. Patients get an injection of a glucose derivative containing fluorine atoms that emit radiation. Cancerous cells consume more glucose than do healthy cells and therefore take up more of the fluorine. The machine then displays where larger amounts of fluorine have accumulated, thereby identifying a possible tumour. Would this technology have been possible without the basic research taking place at CERN? It would be impossible because, uh, uh, in fact, to get the idea first, you need to have something to, to put you in that line of thinking. And uh, here, the knowledge on how to develop uh, particle detectors was crucial to start with this machine. Back at CERN, Hartmut Hillemans and his team are working on adapting the results of basic research to practical applications. What, for instance, does the particle accelerator have to do with the medical technology in Porto? The answer is this detection device called a crystal matrix. The principle of this matrix for making functional imaging is based on the same principle as the crystal matrices we used in our CMS experiment to detect high-energy particles. The main difference is that the crystal matrices in the accelerator CMS detector are substantially larger. The PEM machine is just one example of the applications that basic research at CERN has spawned. As scientists, we have the obligation to provide society a certain benefit, instead of having basic research and its results remain the only cultural contribution. We should work to make concrete applications possible here that can help society in the broadest sense of the word. This kind of spin-off technology confirms that funding basic research is worth the investment.